In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the cost per equivalent unit using the FIFO method. So the first thing we need to know is the number of equivalent units of production, which I'll just abbreviate here as EU. And so we're going to be calculating this in this example for direct materials, which I've just abbreviated as MATS, and then also our conversion costs. And conversion costs, if, if you don't remember, they're direct labor and manufacturing overhead combined. If we add these two together, that's what conversion means. That's what conversion costs are. So first things first, we have to get to our beginning work and process inventory. And we're going to have work and process for direct materials and for the conversion costs. So what we're doing is we're looking at each account. So we're looking at, for, let's start with direct materials. And we're saying, look, we have 300 units indirect materials that are work in process and we've looked and they're 35 percent complete they're 35 percent finished so what does that mean that means that they're 65 percent incomplete so what we're going to do to get the number of equivalent units here we're going to multiply 300 by 65 percent that's going to give us 195 so that's 195 and all i did here was take 300 by 65. Now, by 65 percent. That is. So the reason I'm not multiplying it by 35 percent is because 35 percent was done in the last period, right? That's that's the past. What we need to know is this beginning work in process. How much of it are we going to be doing in this period? Well, if we've already done 35 percent, then we just need to do 100 percent minus. 35%, which is 65%. That's what remains to be completed. And so we've got 195 here for direct materials. And then for our conversion costs, we're going to have 180. And the reason is we're just taking 300 units, 300, and we're multiplying that by 60%. And the way I got these numbers from right here. We have 300 units. And they're 40% complete, so how much, how, what percent is it to get them finished? 60%. 60% remains to be completed. So that's what we're going to put here for our conversion cost. And then now, so now we've taken care of this beginning work in process for the direct materials account, for the conversion account. We've taken care of that. But now we need to know the number of units that were started and completed during the period okay so during this year this quarter whatever the time period is in question we completed 2,000 units so we're, th that we started and completed okay these over here beginning whip those were already you know partially complete at the beginning of the year with the units started and completed we're saying that these are items or units that weren't even they weren't even in this beginning whip we, they were completely started this year and finished this year so that's 2,000 we're going to have then in each account because we did that with 2,000 units. Now we need to know. So we've got our beginning. We had the stuff we had sitting around, laying around at the beginning that we finished. And then we had the stuff we started and completed during the period. Now we're going to go to what is in our ending work in process. What do we end with? Well, we look and we say, hey, we've got 500 units that we end with and they're 25 percent complete they're 25 percent finished with respect to direct materials so now we just multiply that 500 by the 25 percent and that gives us 125 now this time notice it's different up here when we did beginning work in process it was 35 percent complete but we multiply by the 65 the amount that was incomplete because we wanted to know okay what needed to be done right what was what was left to be done but here we're saying okay the ending whip the ending work in process we don't want to know what's left to be done we want to know what we did so far and so now we just multiply that 500 by the 25 percent so that's what gives us the 125 here i just want to make that really clear so you don't get confused so now we can move on to our conversion costs and again we just multiply 500 by the 15 percent so I'm going to I'll just put that over here 500 by 15 percent and that's going to give us 75. Oh, I, sh I, I should have left a little more space here. There we go. So 
Now we can go and we can calculate the number of equivalent units. So our number of equivalent units, all we do is add these numbers here. We just add these numbers together. And so we're going to have 2,300, let me make a little line here, make this clear, 2,320 for direct materials. And then for conversion costs, we're going to have 2,000. 255. Uh, let me make that two a little better. 2,255. So all I did to get the direct materials, we just add these numbers right here to get the equivalent units for direct materials. And then for conversion costs, I just add these units right here. And that gives us 2,255 for conversion and 2,320 for direct materials. Now that we know the equivalent units of production, that's what we just calculated. Now we can go about calculating the cost per equivalent unit. So we need to know, under the FIFO method, we're going to need to know the cost that were added during the period. Right? So for direct materials, it was $175,000 in costs that were added this quarter, this year, whatever the period is that we're measuring, it's $175,000 for direct materials. And conversion cost was $160,000. Now we take our equivalent units from up here and we just plug it in. So we've got 2,320 for direct materials and 2,255 for conversion costs. Now we just divide in order to get the cost per equivalent unit. I'm going to put a little division sign here to signify that we're just defying, dividing the costs added by the number of equivalent units. It's, it's really that simple at this point. So now we're going to have cost per equivalent unit for direct materials is going to be 70, well, let me make it green to match up, $75.43 for direct materials. And then for conversion costs, our cost per equivalent unit is going to be $70.95. So our cost per equivalent unit, again, this is with the FIFO method, for direct materials is $75.43 per unit, and for conversion costs is $70.95 is our cost per equivalent unit. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how we would go about applying this cost per equivalent unit in terms of calculating the, the ending work and process, the cost of the units transferred out, and then we'll get into the differences between the weighted average method and the FIFO method of cost per equivalent unit.